Hello guys. Um so today I decided to bring you um something I've been working on. It's more of a personal project and I kinda hope uh you know you guys will like it. So uh, it's something I put together to kind of simplify the process of uh, getting a full working installation of Radios Desk on a vanilla Red Hat system or you know central space system and of course I'm targeting the 6.x release. Uh, so if you haven't actually upgraded to any of these um, really I recommend you do that of course. I mean um because you've been missing out in a lot of stuff right uh, but one of the things i also mentioned is that you know it's going to be an ongoing effort and of course i plan to support multiple distros i mean this only works for red hat based derivatives and um you know hopefully with time we should be able to support ubuntu debian and so on so um i've outlined the installation process here and the usage uh, so basically all you need is uh, a git uh, installation on your box and and vanilla system so what i did was i i kind of have a vanilla system uh, this is supposed to be uh just to check this is red hat release okay so i have a center 6.5 here and uh just to ensure the architecture i have a 64 bit you know center 6.5 yeah so this should do just fine of course a 6.x release uh, should do fine as well so um like i said all you need to do is to install you know um install git make sure you have git installed uh, that is, of course, I recommend using the Git process, but if you don't have a Git, then of course you can use the second method I outlined in the process here, which is um, using wget and unzip. Alright, so uh, Git, uh, of course, we install a couple of um, packages. So I think I've actually downloaded um, Git, uh, just, but just to show you anyway, I mean, um, you should have it all installed. If you don't, then this should get you a copy of Git. All right, so um, once you do that, all we need to do is to come to the project page. Of course, we need to clone, so we copy the project repo, and we clone, you know, using the link right now, so we clone the repository, and you should have a Radios Desk installer uh, folder or directory in your, uh, your path. So uh, inside the directory, uh, you should find the you know executable script that actually kind of runs you know um, the git kind of runs the process so we run this and one of the things uh, we've made is to support the two web server technologies so I mean on the website for radios desk um, you will see here that one of the recommended web servers to use nginx I mean nginx is good for you know performance uh, if you're going to have a lot of people hitting your server, of course, you recommend to use Nginx because Nginx uses less memory footprint compared to Apache. And of course, it's understandable because, you know, Apache uh, was designed, of course, has been designed to be very modular in such a way that um, people just write modules and, you know, kind of that kind of slows it down. Um, yeah, but so that's an opinionated, um, you know, kind of view. But, you know, if you haven't checked out Nginx, I recommend you check out Nginx. Uh, I'm sure you like it. Uh, otherwise, you can go ahead and, and kind of use Apache, you know, it's all up to you. So in this case, uh, what, web server should, uh, what web server should we use? Uh, well, you know, I'll use Nginx, just because I want Nginx. All right, so um, once you type that, of course, uh, the script is going to go ahead and, you know, kind of use the web server you're supposed to use. Uh, we're going to check if you're running the script as root, and that's one of the requirements. So um, because this is going to do some kind of configuration in the system, um, we recommend you run this, you know, using um, the roots. Uh, user account or a very high privilege user in this case. So uh, we check if you're root and then we check if you have SLNX enabled. Uh, that way we disable it and then of course try to find a way to enable it later uh, just to relabel your drive. Um, but for now, of course, just to make sure everything goes as planned, then we disable SLNX. And we go ahead and kind of um, install prerequisite packages, you know, kind of enable the EPR repository because there we have Nginx. Uh, Nginx is not available in the base or standard repo for CentOS. Uh, of course, we have other additional packages like database packages and so on. Uh, of course, we're going to go ahead and pull in a copy of, um, um, you know, um, Cake PHP, XJS, Radios. Uh, of course, the source code for Radios. We're going to you know, sub install some version and then pull up the requirements. Of course, we're going to download um, Node.js. Um, of course, for the you know, for the graphical viewer, uh, that is for your log files. We'll go we'll ahead and I kind of install. Um, radios desk and you know kind of uh, start some services and uh, you know kind of correct some paths so because radios desk have been designed to work in the Ubuntu and data based environment uh, we trying to make it work with centers on Red Hat so um, a couple of stuff is changing here so all we do is of course we configure the database you know import the schema that is supplied with the database 
and once we do that then of course we go ahead and kind of um install node.js and one thing you know you notice of course is there's no official um repo for um node.js i mean people have tried some efforts but you know of course you know it's recommended you install node.js to compile it in this case so that's what we're doing and uh, you know hopefully this is go ahead and kind of install the system so um i'm just gonna you know kind of fast forward this uh, and i'll come back when the you know installation is complete and then we continue from there okay so um we're back and uh, uh installation is complete as you can see after installing node.js which took a while because i mean apart from installing node.js and compiling it it actually went ahead and installed some modules nearby you know, radius desk so um, you can see here the installation is completed and of course you can access your radius desk uh, based on you know any interface that has been assigned uh, is reachable so in this case you know um, it's reachable via this link here and uh, you know you can see here the username and password that you can log into you know radius desk uh, so one of the limitations also mentioned in the link is also the use of our default values so if uh, hopefully with time we can make the script very um, you know kind of configurable where you know from the script would ask you a couple of questions and uh, you know your desired password and so on and make the uh, installation as painless and, and customized as possible uh, so but for now you know this just gets the job done right uh, so of course um you, you can choose not to uh, do this but of course i recommend you reboot the machine this way um you know you ensure that all the services have been um set to come up you know in a persistent um, manner or fashion and of course you can um you know cannot get started so um you know yes i'm going to reboot the machine and of course i'll come back when it's um all done all just to verify that um we can connect and we have a brand new install of our radios desk okay so uh, my machine has restarted as you can see uh so just to play the screen here of course um you know just to kind of get the url so that we can test All right, so uh, hopefully everything went as planned, and you can see. Uh, so what we're doing in this script is we are using the new um, theme um, that hopefully will be the default in, um, as the project evolves, as the Radius Desk project. And um, you know, uh, Derek has been working on this um, new theme because of the new XJS version uh, that has been released. Uh, so of course you can see the username, of course, the root, the password, is admin, and like I said, um, these are all default values. Uh, so ensure you do that and you know you have your brand new install of uh, radios desk uh, of course you can you know look at your log viewer here uh this is where this is what the you know the node.js uh, installation does uh creates this environment where you can see the log part the log of your radius file uh, one of the advantages also is you can of course you can stop you know here you can see i'm stopping um radios and uh, so for some reason i just want to restart radios um, because sometimes you find yourself trying to do that as well uh, then of course you can see it here in your log viewer and of course you can start it right so uh, you can see ready to accept requests and of course all the db uh, so hopefully guys um if you have any question or you feel um you you have um you know kind of you can help us extend the script uh, beyond what it's doing right now uh please feel free to send me a pull request and um hopefully we'll manage it uh, make sure you just test it uh, though so that um this becomes more of a serious project so please go over you know this page and i've kind of um you know kind of written some stuff that will be useful for you guys uh for the resources of course you can always go to my blog about the radio desk course that i have uh so let's say you want to really know what's happening behind the scenes uh all the components that make up you know radio desk and how it's installed i have a video series of course on that and of course you can always go to the radio desk project site and of course there are more you know details and documentations on even more complex um uh, use cases all right so i uh, hope you enjoyed this and i'll uh, see you uh, next time